So now we'll go through this example, which we've touched upon elements of. So for example, we have already looked at the trapezoidal region. We've looked at a change of variables, which maps it into another region. That's a little bit more easy to deal with. But we're going to put all of these elements together now. So we'll start with our trapezoidal region. So here's the region we want to integrate over. So it's 1, 0, 2, 0, 0, negative 1, 0, negative 2. And so that's our region. We also had the change of variables. The change of variables were x is equal to 1 half u plus v and y is equal to 1 half u minus v. So that was our change of variables. Under this change of variables, okay, so this is the in x, y coordinates. Under that change of variables, I'll just draw the arrows going in either direction. We have this ability to take this region and map it back into another region in terms of UV coordinates. And the region in UV coordinates was this region trapped between V goes from 1 up to 2 and U is trapped between negative V and V. So this is u equals negative v and u equals v. And that went from 1 up to 2. So there was our situation. And the last thing we need to know is our Jacobian. So what is our Jacobian? Jacobian is dxy over duv x sub u, x sub v, y sub u, y sub v. In that case, it was a half, a half, a half, negative a half. And we worked it out to have a value of negative a half. So those were all the ingredients we needed. Now we can go ahead and compute our integral. We want to integrate over the region R. This is our region R of e x plus y over x minus y dA. We are going to change to u and v coordinates. Now when we make the change to u and v coordinates, we've got to integrate over the correct region. And that's given by our picture on the left. v is going from 1 to 2. u is going from negative v to v. Maybe I'll write those in here. Uh, u is going from negative v to v, and v is going from 1 to 2. So that's our description of our region. Then we've got our integrand, e to the x plus y. So if I take x and I add it to y, I get the value u. If I take x and subtract y, so that's 1 half u minus 1 half u is 0, and then 1 half v minus minus 1 half v, that becomes just a v. So that's our updated integrand. And then we've got to update our dA, and that becomes the absolute value of the Jacobian times du dv. And I've got to get them in the order that I want. So the first integral I was doing with respect to u, and the second one is with respect to v. And so there we go. We've updated our integral by changing its variables. And so this is negative v to v, e to the u over v, du dv. And now that integral is much simpler to deal with than the original, especially the integrand itself. So if I want to integrate with respect to u, that becomes uh, e to the u over v with a v in front, and u goes from negative v to v. Then we're still left with the 
integral on the outside from 1 to 2 dv. So that's 1 half the integral from 1 to 2. And then what do we get? We get v e to the 1 minus v e to the negative 1. And then that's dv. And so that is e minus 1 over e. That's a constant that can come out front. And then we've got the integral of v from 1 to 2. So that's 1 half e minus 1 over e. And then 1 half v squared. And so that's 1 half of 2 squared minus 1 squared, or 4 minus 1, or 3. So this becomes a 3 quarters e minus 1 over e. And there we go. We've worked out the value of the integral. All right, that's it for this example. We'll see you for another example in the next video.